Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this design. This design looks really nice, especially if you're viewing it from your laptop. It looks amazing and so, so attractive. Alright, uh, without wasting much time, let's just jump right into the tutorial. You can see. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the background. I'm going to set the background. I think, no, I think. Uh, most of the elements and images I use here, I started so I can easily locate them. In case you don't know about that, now you do. So I'm going to go to my the start section. And this is the background that I used. I used the black grunge background. So I'm going to drag it here. And then we have our background. Okay, now let's forge our head. Now the next thing I did was um, to get... On this particular effect i used a text frame so i'm just going to locate the text frame i used because of time now this arrow there's arrow there's i there's c there's e so now let's just make sure so now let's just make sure um they are of the same size so we have r i then we have C and then we have E. Okay, um the spacing is not accurate. You should know by now that I love paying attention to details, so I'm gonna increase this, come over here, increase it a bit. Um I'm increasing it a bit because it seems the C it's looking um, a bit smaller than the rest so i'm just going to increase it a bit out of proportion but yeah we're trying to achieve something let's go back so right let's see the spacing can be better so i'm going to increase this small small okay yep so we have our eyes r i c e i'm just going to place it in the middle so what the, the next thing i did was i dragged um a full the jollof rice jollof rice or fried rice okay it's a jollof rice so i dragged it inside the letter frame double clicked on it so i can be able to adjust the image inside the frame and then i dragged it did the same for the letter I, did the same for letter C, Oops. and also did the same for letter E, so I'm going to do this. Now we have our rice, okay, now there's something else I did, okay, if you notice, look, it's a bit different from this one, so there's obviously something I did to achieve that so i duplicated this okay and then change the color to yellow 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 and my favorite color is yellow yellow so this is it and then i reduce the transparency to of uh, 50 50 so okay let me first show you no to 50 why so because if i drag this over to this particular point you won't be able to see the rice inside the letter frame so i have to reduce it to 50 so at least you can see this so we have our rice i'm just going to check if it's okay it needs small push small push small push small push Oops, there's something missing here small push and we are done so duplicate this bring it somewhere here let me see the spacing okay Duplicate it again, bring it here. So we have this part set to 
So we have this part set to rice, rice, rice. Now what's the next thing I did? I got an image, a food image, think. Sorry, I use I think a lot, even though there's no need for that. Now um I went to there's a section I saved food images, that's what I'm trying to look for now. And I use an image of this rice, this is actually of right bring it here. Yep. So this is a oh, please don't do not enter the frame. I should have locked that frame by now, sorry. So place it in the middle. And yeah, we have a rice image. Now we are not done. There's something I did. Okay, something I did um just to give it a little bit of just to at least touch it up a bit. Now um still on still go to my yeah still go to start section. Where is my start section? Come on guys, nope not here. Here, okay. I can't even find the image. Well, since I can't find it, let me just go over to um, photos. What I did was I used a black silk bag. I searched for a black silk background and I just hope I can get the exact one I used. Okay, and I used this one. Yes, I used this one. Take it up. Take it up, take it up. I've showed you guys this trick a couple of times, so um, you should have, you must have gotten used to it by now. And this is the silk. I'm gonna take it back just one bit. I'm gonna take it back just one bit and um, reduce the transparency. Which is transparency by, I think 50 would do. Yep, 50 would do. No, 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 50 would be, 50 would not give me what I want. Um, I think let's leave it with 25. Yep. Let it, let it not hide um, the rice. You know, let it not have, um, cover the rice letter frames in the background. So let's move on. Now I went to element a search for paper cuts. It's not here. Wow. So I went to, if I went to element search for paper cut and this was the one I used. If I am not mistaken. This is the one I use, so but it's here. Now this already, I think this one has a shadow already. Maybe wrong. Okay. Yep, so I'm just trying to make sure I get it right. So this is it. This is I can't change the color. But there was something I did. Um, yep. So I opened a new page. I opened a new page. I selected this because I was looking for a shadow effect. I opened a new page and then I applied this filter to it black and white, then went to went to brightness reduce the brightness increase the contrast and then i downloaded this particular um paper cutout image paper cutout element image or whatever i downloaded it at a png a transparent png file then uploaded it back into canva which is this you can see it here I don't want to go through the whole process again, but you get the point now. So this is it, and um, I'm just going to delete this. 
select this okay now increase 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 turn it now I edited it again reduce the brightness increase the contact contrast and then oof, there's something I did for that but it's not important so I'm going to increase the blur to let's say around 40 48 or so and then the transparency was reduce transparency to let's say a 50 yep and brought it to the back so there we have the effects just making it look nice went to text okay i'm just going to copy this one hot spicy copy it and then paste it here so we have a hot spicy thing this needs to up a bit yep hot spicy and for this um fried rice over here i have um this there's um what sorry okay i applied on um, this smoke effect i downloaded it a couple of i downloaded it some time ago and i'm trying to locate it so go to upload search for smoke So, yep, I started with this one in the middle, duplicated it, put it here, duplicated it again, and flipped it horizontally and brought it here. Then this one also came here. And I edited this particular one because it was looking a bit darker. I increased the brightness. Yes, so. We're done with that. Now let's move on to the next. This image I was gotten from Canva, so I added this one and place it somewhere here. Only us two from Canva, place it somewhere here. And then I was not completely satisfied with the um, drop down shadows of this okay of this image so I had to add mine I had to add mine and here is my shadow where is my okay then this one um, a circle shape edited it Increase the blood to 56. 56. Reduce the transparency to 50. Then break it down. Break it down. Here, let's, let's get down. Let's get down the business. Yep. Position all the way to the back. All the way to the back. And then bring it back to. Duplicated it again. Again, put it down. Let's get down the beauty. Position back, 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 back. Duplicated this and put this one here. Now we are almost done. And where's my star again? Where are you? This um, pin can get it from Canva. Place it here. Bent it a bit. Then this shadow duplicate edits, but this time around, I increase the transparency. Good. back. back. I think I have to increase the blow all the way to the end. Just 
so we had something like this 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 we are almost done with this now the last thing yep yeah that's the last thing the last thing i did um was select this okay this is the circle copy it and paste it and copy the white one to it's a circle you can get it from element section so um take it from to the back because of time i don't want to start um because i've showed you the essential things you need to achieve this particular design and then this is a line from canva the element section this particular line this particular line that's the one i used and then this is still that same um, drop down shadow so this is how i achieved this design see how nice it's looking on a laptop on my smartphone so it was looking nice so you can try this with maybe any other food or fruit you can just try with a salad or apple or uh, soup anything just a fun project and just trying that okay and please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel at kelechi ao korea follow me on instagram at kela vastin tiktok kela austin twitter also and facebook all right so i hope you've learned something new today um see you next time bye bye